Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Zodiac collection. And I'm super duper excited about this. I feel like I say that in every video, but I only review products that I'll be excited about. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing only some of the products. I mainly got the fire signs because you know, I'm a Leo, so. We gotta represent from my zodiac sign. So what I will be reviewing today are two of the highlighters, which one is the Earth highlighter. It's like a light gold, and then one of the fires. The highlighters are super nice, that's why I got two of them. Um, and then I got obviously the Leo lip gloss because hello, again, I'm a Leo, so we had to represent. And then I got Gemini because this was a super pretty gloss. And then I also got Aries, which is like a dark maroon shade. And I got the Fire Eyeshadow Palette. So I didn't get every single thing in this, um, in this collection because I knew that there were going to be certain things that I just was not down for. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches real quick and then we will, you know, start the eye look because I have an idea of what I want to do so I will be right back after the swatches are complete So I have primed off of camera my eyeballs and I set my under eyes with a little bit of powder to catch any of the fallout that I probably will have with this. So the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is the Faya one, which I'm very excited about because look at all these reds. I'm excited because I love me some reds. So let's go ahead and just get into this guy i have never used wet and wild eyeshadows by the way like ever 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 so i'm really hoping that they do not let me down because i love 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 some wet and wild products so i am going to take there's no shades in this and they kind of all just run together so bear with me but i think i'm going to take this shade right here this one right here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and with a fluffy brush just you know start packing it on right up in here okay I might need a stiffer brush because that's not working that's better that is better that is better now normally I don't like using shimmers in my crease but you know it is what it is we will just work through it It is pretty pigmented. I will say that much. Wet n Wild is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands, um, like ever, because I feel as if they have really good products for the low low. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to spend like an arm and a leg with Wet n Wild. Some of the stuff is definitely a miss. I've tried certain things and I'm like, ugh, why? why wet and wild but for the most part they're pretty good products you know like these eyeshadows are pretty pigmented for the price point of it all so i'm not mad in the slightest be a very simple eye look today because it's hot as africa and as soon as i'm done with it it's probably coming off because it's way too hot to be wearing a full face of makeup even with the air conditioning on I'm gonna drag it out this way because I want, I'm not gonna do eyeliner, I just wanna wing out the eyeshadow. If you have never tried Wet n Wild's, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Their complexion products, you are missing out big time because their complexion products are the ish pretty much i'm going in with the darker red too in the outer v real quick to just darken this up 
their complexion products are some of the best that I've tried especially for their price point their concealer is popping their foundation is popping and the only thing is obviously the sh shade range is not the best for people of color obviously because brands are not getting with the program yet but I did go to a I don't know if it was a CVS or a Walgreens and they had way more what's the word I'm looking for they had way more um, deeper shades than what they did when I first started trying out their complexion products a couple years ago so it is an improvement and I think a lot of brands are realizing that they need to get with the times get with the times you know what I mean okay so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. this one right here yes 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 on my eyelid get up on here these are actually really pigmented I'm thoroughly surprised especially with red red er shades like red berry shades I feel like sometimes it's just not done right but I must say I am thoroughly surprised because this is really pretty this is very very pretty good job wet and wild so I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye off camera put some lashes on and then we'll be right back to finish up the rest the rest of the face so brb please hold so i went ahead and added a little bit of eyeliner and i used lashes and the lashes i used were evelyn from the makeup shack these are bomb.com if anybody has ever used queen bee from coco lashes these are literally the same thing so i'm going to take this shade right here and this shade right here and just smoke out my lower lash line real quick real quick I'm going right over that brown I want to bring down this red a little lower than I normally do if you were worried about wet and wild not being poppin for this collection girl it's real nice okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these lippies real quick so the first one I'm going to swatch is Gemini, this really pretty gold. These are my favorite kind of lip glosses to put on top of lipsticks. Oh my god, this is like pure gold. I was not expecting this. This is like a one dot type of lip gloss because this is super gold and it's not really my steez, you know, not my style. So. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. On top of a lipstick though, this would probably be really, really pretty. So let's try Aries. This is like a deep plum. I do really like this lip gloss. I think it is beautiful. However, I feel like this is more of like a fall deep shade. So I feel like this should have been like, mm, like a Virgo, a Libra. A Scorpio you know what I'm saying not an Aries when it's spring and it's like fun you know like Leo I understand like the fire the red the golds but this right here is just kind of confusing I do like the shade though the shade is really really pretty so I am here for this this will probably be a really pretty fall shade is Leo it's a really really pretty peachy gold reflex so let's see how this wears this one I like a lot because it makes my lips look super juicy it also has like pinky reflex in it with gold reflex in it and with this look it's cute okay so i'm gonna use the faya highlighting bar look how beautiful that is yes 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 and i'm gonna highlight the high points of my face oh how cute is that look at the zodiac signs are all in inside of here i love that that i feel it deep down inside my bones i feel it that i'm gonna love this I mean, hello. Wow. That. Mm -mm. Wet and wild, okay. I see you guys. I see you guys. This is. 
This is so nice. Wow, that is magical. Okay. So the highlighters killed it, obviously, once again. It's not really a surprise at all because their highlighters are insane. That is it for this makeup look. Now, my thoughts on this. Listen to me, okay? Listen to me, okay? This is hands down the best, best drugstore collection that I have tried in a very, very long time because I literally liked everything. And that within itself is very surprising because usually eyeshadows, I'm just like, mm, it's okay, it doesn't wow me, but this looks high end and it's not. It is drugstore makeup. Like one item by itself was not more than $8. That I know for certain. So obviously I'm going to recommend every single thing in this collection. The only thing that I probably would never buy is that blue highlighter just because, hello, do you see this? Do you see this melanin? Blue highlighter does not look great on my skin tone. So no, I wouldn't go for that. But everything else, you gotta try it, you gotta buy it. Absolutely, I love, 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 love everything about it. I love the lip glosses, I love the highlighters, I love the eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are so pigmented and so pretty and they blend like a dream. I'm so, 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 so excited about this. So yes, I recommend this 100%, 100%. It comes out August 1st in Walmarts, it's available on wetandwild.com it is just too pretty and too inexpensive for you not for you not to get these products okay I, I love them I think that this stuff is just like oh I can't stop looking at myself I love it I love it so much so that is it for this video oh almost took my light out that is it for this video I really really hope you enjoyed watching it <sighs> If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will catch you guys next time. Bye everyone. Bye bye bye.